As we have reported multiple times, South Korea has made an official bid to host the World Expo 2030 in the nation's second largest city, Busan. And this weekend, in an effort to boost the bid, South Korea's very own BTS will hold a free concert in the southeastern port city in front of an audience that's expected to reach 100,000. To discuss BTS and the group's upcoming show, we have Stefan Lee from the uh, the author of K-Pop Confidential and K-Pop Revolution with us today, joining from L.A. Good afternoon to you. Hi, thank you so much for having me again. Right, now, 100,000 are expected to come to this concert, and the tickets were free. Even for superstars like BTS, this must mean a lot. How do you interpret this as someone in the entertainment industry? Well, that is pretty unusual, um, especially by American standards where I am. And um, I was just at a Lady Gaga concert here in Los Angeles with 50,000 people, and those tickets were absolutely not free. <laughs> but BTS has had a history of, you know, um, doing things not just to make money, but to show the world and also their fans how appreciative they are of their continued support. Right, and this show will also be streamed live. How strong of a message will this concert be and to, to the rest of the world that Busan is a competitive choice for the World Expo in 2030? Well, BTS is obviously the perfect choice of artists to feature in this kind of world stage because their appeal is so massive and reaches all kinds of people. So. It really shows that um, Korea and also Busan are, are um, cultural centers that get recognition from all over the world. And I think BTS has the power to influence entire nations <laughs> and governments um, more than any other artist in the world. So I think this will really show just what a nexus of um, culture that BT, uh, that Korea has. Um, and it also makes sense that it's in the second largest city in Korea because um, Seoul is already all over the map. And I think hosting a major, major global event like the Olympics or the World Cup or the World Expo will really put a different city on the map and show that there are various places throughout the country, even though it might be small in land size, there's a lot of diversity in the um, culture of the, of the country. Right. Now, all this hype is not to say that there aren't any concerns. Some are worried about the infrastructure and possible safety issues for this concert. Do you think there is enough preparation time for a concert of this size? As someone who's seen many concerts, especially like Lady Gaga's, being prepared. <laughs> yes. So, um, BTS, they will never do anything like this lightly or without a lot of people working to make it as dazzling and safe of an event as possible. And especially if this is a bid for South Korea's, um, you know, um, hosting capabilities, there will be a lot of support from both corporations. Um, there are many big global corporations that are helping to sponsor this event to make it successful. So I think that, you know, Korea and, and um, the company behind BTS will pull out all the stops to make this a success. Obviously, when you have a lot of people in one space, there are things you can't really control for, whether it's attendees' behavior or attendees who maybe um, already had a pre-existing medical condition um, that, you know, comes to the fore during the concert, but aside from things that no one can control, I think this will be a really state-of-the-art event and planned with the best capabilities that Korea has to offer. Right, I mean, I f hopefully everything works out perfectly and that people will have a good time. Well, thank you again for joining us uh, this afternoon for you, and I uh, hope you have a yes. great rest of your day. Thank you so much.